what's unique about Qualia in the field of nootropic stacks currently. The sourcing of our ingredients and the quality control and sourcing of our ingredients is uh, unique. There may be a couple companies that really do a good job on sourcing where at the top of what I would say is possible in the field. The amount of ingredients and the number of pathways that are affected and the actual uh, total milligrams of each ingredient. This is why there's a lot of capsules that are involved compared to most nootropic stacks. All of these are differentiators, but the real differentiator is systems design, comprehensivity, both in terms of how many pathways are affected, how many aspects of each pathway are affected, the redundancy and how we affect those, and how many cognitive capabilities and psychological states are being affected and the nuance with which those things are all being uh, inter-affected and the design processes there have been being inter-affected. There are a bunch of very interesting chemicals that on their own affect specific cognitive capabilities or states that are meaningful, but they're only a part of what people are really typically longing for. So we can look at a particular chemical like PRL 853's ability to increase digit span. Well, increased digit span, being able to hold more digits in your working memory is cool. And for a few professions, that's particularly meaningful by itself. But for most people, that's only interesting in conjunction with the sustained attention and focus that allows them to actually apply that and not be stuck in procrastination, not even thinking about whatever would involve numbers. Um, and for many people, it's going to be a combination of that with their speed of memory, so how quickly they can retrieve things, and not just digit span, but verbal fluency. And uh, you know, so there's there are many things that come together to make up meaningful cognitive capability. And analytic capability and synthetic capability are very different. I mean, do we want to increase our ability to have detailed analysis and critical thinking, or do we want to increase our ability for pattern recognition and kind of creative thinking? Both the states that we're interested in involve both of these. And this is another big part of the differentiator in in our design process with Qualia is that rather than having trade-offs in what's assumed to be a zero-sum capacity system, where if you increase something, you're going to be decreasing something else in the system, our goal is how do we actually tune the system where the, where the system is more efficient overall, and then how do we actually increase the net capacity, the net information processing capacity of the system, so it can be simultaneously more driven and more present at the same time. It can have more uh, deep focus and better task switching at the same time. These are typically things that are in dialectics that are traded off one for the other, but they both matter. And so our goal is how do we simultaneously optimize across meaningful things that are usually dialectic by increasing system efficiency and total system capacity. And this is why so much of the formula is not only focused on real-time neurochemistry, but is focused on things like neurogenesis and synaptogenesis and synaptic plasticity, which is how do we actually support the development, the endogenous process development of neural stem cell production and differentiation and long-term potentiation plasticity so that you can actually be evolving a more complex information processing system that has more net capacity.